Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to a surprise mid-month flush tube, flush tube extra, if you will. Um, my name's Laura Clark, also known as Butterfly Stitches 83, also known as Cotton and Clay UK, and this is my little corner of the internet where I talk all about cross stitch. Regular flush tube will be back as usual at the beginning, very beginning of next month, um, but I'm hopping on to do a quick, hopefully quick, quicker than usual video, um of um birthday haul it was my birthday on the 6th of august um and i've had my i ordered my own presents for my husband um ages and ages ago and i'm happy to finally share them with you so this is primarily going to be a haul video so if you don't like those ones then feel free to skip this one um but also i'm very excited because i finally got my hands on this guy I've been waiting for this book for ages. It's a big long story that I'll tell you in a bit, um, but I'm going to do a flip through of all of the projects in this book um, to show you guys. Um, so again, if you don't wanna be spoiled, then this isn't the video for you. Um, however, if you are on the fence whether or not to get the book and you want to see all the projects, then I'm happy to share them with you. Um, yeah, really, really excited to finally have my hands on this. It's a beautiful book um, and I'm looking forward to going through it and uh, picking my projects and sharing them all with you. Um, if this is your first time visiting my channel, hello, welcome. If you came for the book, flip through, then please feel free to stay for my other floss tube videos. Hopefully you'll find something else that you like. Um, and if you're a regular subscriber, then hello, welcome back. And um, yeah, thank you for joining me. So I'm gonna quickly do my birthday haul first and then we'll have a flip through of the book. I'm on a schedule this morning because I'm doing another early morning video um, before work, which is kind of the way I'm having to do it in the summer holidays because otherwise my kids are here and it's a great big nightmare. So let's crack on before I have to start work. So um, the first four items I got for my birthday are from 123 Stitch. Um, it's the only US, uh, company, uh, US website that I've found that doesn't have extortionate shipping. Um, they charge a flat rate of 4 dollars for shipping, which is incredible. I mean, you pay that for UK shipping sometimes. How they do it, I don't know, but I'm happy that they do do it. <laughs> so yeah, that's a, a regular US uh, website that I use, and I'm sure many of you do as well. So the first pattern I got from there was Spring Quaker from Primrose Cottage. You guys know how much I love Primrose Cottage stitching and stitches, I think is the full name. Um, and I've had my eye on this one for a while. Um, quite often they'll release new patterns, but they only ship, but Primrose themselves only currently only ship to the US. So we have to be patient and either wait for the PDF or wait for them to go to other distributors, um, which is what I've done in this case. Um, but I did see on Primrose's latest floss tube, which you should watch their floss tubes, by the way, they're such lovely girls, a complete family, whole family affair, um, beautiful company, um, and their floss tubes are always really fun. Um, but they did say on their latest one that they're launching a brand new website, um, and hopefully in the future, not yet, but going forward, they might be shipping to other places. So fingers crossed that one of those places is the UK um, and the shipping isn't too unaffordable um, because then I can get my hands on their patterns straight away, um, which is nice because I'm very impatient. So the first one I got was this one, Spring Quaker. So beautiful. Already got the floss from this, got it from Romy's Creations when I was at Big Stitch. It was in my last video, I think. Um, I also got the Winter Quaker. Again, I've already got the floss. Um, I've picked my own floss for them. Um, and I'm going to, um, yeah, use this for, um, start this rather, in uh, either November or December. I've got it on my plans to begin this one for winter. The third pattern I got from 123 Stitch was this beautiful peacock pin cushion from Cottage Garden Samplings that she released a few months ago is absolutely gorgeous. I love this finish. Um, I love the fabric, absolutely stunning. Um, and I've seen a couple of other people stitching this up and it's, it looks absolutely great. So um, that was the other one that I got. And also the fourth thing I got from them was just some 28 count vellum, uh, just a small piece. Um, 
this is since I've been using even weave this is one of my go-to fabrics um so just got a little bit more of that it's really soft it's really it's light enough that you can do most patterns on it um but it's still got a lovely mottling effect this one actually is particularly mottled but in a really nice way so yeah that's what I got from one two three stitch the next three patterns I'm including is birthday haul because I bought them with birthday money <laughs> um and it's three primrose cottage patterns that I've been trying to get hold of for a while um from a more recent release um and I couldn't find them at any UK su uh, suppliers but then the lovely Kim at Stitchy Squirrels um tagged me on a post that she spotted from Trudy Ann Designs who was selling them via her eBay shop so I will find the link and put it down um, in the description below if anyone else wants to get hold of them um, I've been told that you can now get them on 123 stitch um, so I'd signed up to the alert me when these are in thing but I've never got an email but apparently they are now on there um, and it's been a few weeks so maybe the UK suppliers now all have them I don't know but I got them from Trudy Ann Designs the first one is honeybees and stitching, please. Um, I've already got most, if not all of the colours, I think, because um, I'm doing the honeybee Quaker. Um, but it's so cute. Uh, the honeybee quilt, which is part of the same release. Um, these are fairly small, I think, so shouldn't be too time consuming. And look, it really looks quilted. It's just so pretty. They've got a whole series of... Um, quilts actually I think quilt quilt style ones um but this is the first one I've got probably not the last um and then the other one I got was um summer quaker so and I've already got the autumn quaker so I've got the full seasonal set there is valentine's and christmas and they're just releasing a halloween one which is stunning oh my god so beautiful um but that will be a project for next Halloween now, I think, at this point. I've got quite a lot of Halloween and autumn projects coming up. Um, but yes, I've got Summer Quaker. And again, I've already got floss for this one that I bought from Romy's Creations at Big Stitch. Um, more birthday haul. I got this beautiful project bag from Ness Craft Room, which is one of my favourite... I have to come back a bit to show you this. One of my favourite project bags, uh, project bag makers. Um, found her on... Um, found her at Stitch in London last year. She was selling beautiful bags and they are gorgeous. I think I've got three or four now. Um, just as a nice touch, I left this in there to show you. This beautiful little handmade card. Um, I used to be into card craft, so I appreciate this. This lovely little handmade card that she included. So pretty. It's just a whole extra craft that she just included with a lovely handwritten note. So nice. Um, but yeah, the bag itself really nice size this back fabric you can't really see in this light but it's got a real shimmer like the silvery white parts of the design have got a real shimmer which is really beautiful lovely vinyl front gorgeous starfish inside fabric quilted sturdy but soft at the same time lovely little charm on the zipper pull this is made with love and a little tassel Love them, just such beautiful project bags. Um, really gorgeous, really happy with this one. Um, yeah, gorgeous, so happy. And also I ordered this, so in my last video or the one before, I showed you one of uh, Yasmin Made With Love's beautiful hand-painted storage boxes. Um, this one I actually had before the previous one, but as I say, it was birthday haul, so it was locked away for my birthday. Uh, so I finally got it out and I can use it. And it's this lovely guy. Look at this. So stunning. So gorgeous. Of course, it's a bee. You guys know how obsessed I am. So lovely. Um, and all the side, look at the, look at the detail on the side. Um, these are such nice quality. They must take Yaz so long to do. Um, she, there's so much detail. She even puts her symbol on the bottom, her logo. Um, the inside is so, oh, the inside is so lovely. She has like this lovely vinyl paper lining. So nice. So beautiful. Um, I'm going to use mine to store um fancy flosses and other accessories but yeah i love it we're so chuffed to get hold of this one and so chuffed to finally show you guys 
And last but definitely not least was a beautiful set, um, a custom set that I ordered from Charlie Feathers. A lot of you already know Charlie Feathers, I'm sure. She's an awesome floss tuber, loads of amazing projects, a lovely lady, and also just makes the most beautiful things. Um, again, met her for the first time at Stitch in London last year, and she's just great. Um, and everything she makes is so beautiful. So I approached her and asked her if she could make me um, a set of floss drops, a uh, needle minder, which she's just started making this year, and a um, ring bling. And I wanted the theme to be, I think I said to her, bees, butterflies, um, and a couple of like night timey, night timey? Night, like sort of a couple of night um, floss drops as well, like with moons and stars and things. And she seriously delivered, so beautiful. I'm gonna show you every single floss drop because they're so pretty. So um, she also asked if I wanted any words on them, which I, which I said yes. And we decided on uh, nourish, oh, I've forgotten what we decided on. Nourish the <laughs> beauty, oh, nourish the beauty in moments, that was it. I've had these put away for so long and I'm so excited I can finally use them. I've got to find a good project to use them for. So look, look at these pretty floss drops. I need to go a bit closer. I'm just going to try and show you one at a time. Every single one is a work of art. Look at that bee. So pretty. Oh, sunflowers, I think, is the other thing I said. Bees, sunflowers, butterflies. And look, she just she just goes with your brief and delivers. And look, they're just so nice. Um, the colours, um, I think I said yellows, oranges, purples or something like that. All the flowers are so lovely. Look at this butterfly. So nice. I'm so chuffed with these. Just feels like a real luxury to have these floss drops because everyone has had so much love and care and talent put into it that they're just gorgeous. So I'm not sure, uh, usually Charlie's open for commissions. Um, she may well be at the moment, I'm not totally sure, but I know she's trying to build stock for Stitch in London um, this year, which is something I'm really trying, look at the moon, it's so sweet, which is what something I'm really trying to do, trying to find time to do, which is a struggle during the school holidays. It's no joke. Um, but feel free to message her and I'm sure she'll do you a commission set as and when she's able to. And the last one, look, look at this little guy, so sweet. Um, so as well as the floss drops, um, I said, could you make me a needle minder and um, a ring bling to go with it? Um, so this is the butterfly needle minder. So pretty. And look at the ring bling. It's a lovely little bee. It's so nice. Absolutely love it. Like, absolutely chuffed to bits with that set. Glad my birthday's been and gone, and I've got them in my hands, and I can start using them. Very, very exciting. Um, So that was most of my birthday of... That was my stitching birthday haul. I didn't figure you wanted to see all my other stuff. Um... Although, actually, these lovely earrings were part of my, from a handmade maker on Etsy, it were also part of my, um, which I might put down below in case you love earrings. Anyway, um, now onto this book. So, this guy was also part of my birthday haul. Um, I pre-ordered on Amazon um, when Max first announced that the book was coming out. And initially, it had the the release date was similar to the Canadian release date. Max is from Canada. Um, and I thought, oh, you know, cool. They'll, you know, I've pre-ordered. It will come on the day. Usually Amazon are pretty good with pre-orders. Um, and then I got a message saying that they were pushing it back. And then I think it got pushed back again. And I think if you try and order it on Amazon right now in the UK, it's beginning of October. Um, bless him. Max Pigeon, the author, doesn't even know why. doesn't know what's going on with Amazon and his distributor. <clears throat> who's sending to them so it's really weird not his fault in any way shape or form um but I thought to myself well you know what 
it's released it's released overseas it's probably released here let me see if i can find it through another vendor so i google searched and i got a copy from blackwells again i'll put the link down below in case you want to get yours i got a copy from blackwells i then quickly went on to amazon cancelled my pre-order so screw you amazon <laughs> um they've been doing some really messed up stuff with pre-orders lately i've heard so i don't know what's happening with them at the moment um so i cancelled that order from black Wales, came within definitely less than a week or probably about a week or four five or six days i think it's come in the end like so chuffed so happy to finally have a hold of it um so if any of you are waiting for an amazon pre-order of this book feel free to check out the link i'm going to put below and if you're able to get one quicker which i'm sure you will be because i have then just cancel your amazon order um and yeah support a smaller i mean i don't really know anything about blackwells but i'm assuming they're not the global conglomerate that amazon is um so yeah why not support them and get your book quicker now the book itself so gorgeous so happy with it um it's like smaller than I expected it to be, but I like that because it's just big enough and the charts in it are just so gorgeous, like so easy to read. Um, so if you have got this in order and you don't want to be spoiled, as I said, don't say goodbye now in this video um, because I'm planning on showing every project, not the chart, obviously, but the project and the finish. So if you don't want to see that, Here's your warning <laughs> before we crack on. Um, so the beginning of the book is brilliant. There's an introduction by Max. Um, there's a really comprehensive list of supplies um, and some beautiful photography as well. I mean, just look at this photography. I really appreciate nice photography in a book. It's just so gorgeous. Um, and then there's some really comprehensive descriptions of cross stitch as well so if you're a total beginner this book is perfect um it even shows like he's even got some really clear drawings showing you how to cross stitch how to start your stitches end your stitches look they're, they're just crystal clear sometimes these sort of diagrams i find really confusing like when i'm doing embroidery stitches i end up just going on youtube but these ones look particular i mean i haven't read all this yet because i already know how to do it but um these ones look particularly clear and comprehensive there's also he teaches you how to do three quarter stitch back stitch really good there's even a little demo on finishing how to finish in a hoop with some pictures really nice um so really gorgeous and then we get to the projects themselves um they are divided into sections let me remind myself how many uh so you've got among the pines into the Glade, Thriving Woodlands, The Great North, and Nighttime Wonders. And then there are five, one, two, five or six projects in each one. So there's a real decent amount of projects in this book as well, um, which is not always the case with some cross stitch books. And I want to stitch like all of them. So it's just brilliant. So first section, Among the Pines, obviously forest related. The first project, again, your last chance if you don't want to be spoiled, cheerio. <laughs> if you want to be spoiled, like I would be if this, if I was watching this, then carry on. And the first one's called Boreal Bounty, and it's this guy. See, you're going to wish it's not me doing this flip through because I'm not very good at showing things on the camera. Really gorgeous. Not too big. 79 by seven, 79 stitches by 79. This fabric, it looks great on this fabric as well. Really pretty. It's got Max's distinct style. I was just saying, in case you don't know, so the book is by Mac, Max Pigeon, which is Pigeon Coop Designs. So anyone who's watched my previous floss tubes will have seen projects from him because I love him. <laughs> um, so that's the first one. The second project is Deer Trail. Again, 55 by 90. So not excessively big. I think what's really interesting is a lot of the projects in this book, he's really made great use of the negative space. So for example, this project, these two or these four trees here are made from the negative space, i.e. they're not stitched. It's just the background coming through. And oh, also the deer itself as well. So pretty. 
Love that oval hoop finish. Spruce Trio. This is a great small project. So if you're drowning in whips and new starts like I am and you want just a small palette cleanser, this one is gorgeous. Uh, 59 by 59 stitches. And again, a gorgeous finish in that wooden frame. And you could change the colours if you wanted. You don't have to do those colours. I change the colours on everything. Well, not everything. Sometimes the colours are perfect. But uh, This is Eagle Ravine. Again, only 50, 50 by 50 stitches, um, but they are almost full coverage, so you'll feel a bit more. And again, he's made amazing use of the negative space, so the, the birds are all made from negative space. So pretty. The next project is... Oh, I'm going to show you a smidge, a little corner of some of the charts in a minute, just to show you how clear the charts are. Uh, forest bathing now this is a beauty um max has been sharing this one on his socials so this was a main a big reason for a lot of us getting the book i think absolutely stunning he does so much with like it's very simple but he does so much with it like these trees they all look like completely individual trees just through the use of different patterns and again beautiful use of the negative space i'm not very good at stitching stuff where the pattern is the negative space i'm not gonna lie i'm pretty terrible at it because i've not really done it much apart from on his pa patterns previously um but i'm gonna get better and this book is gonna help me because i love how it looks so that was the first section the next section is into the glade and our first project is duck pond so pretty so again, you can tell that Max has got a really distinctive style, but every project is still completely unique. So some designers I've seen have got a distinctive style and then everything kind of seems a bit samey, but this just isn't like that. Every project is totally unique. Um, I love the way he builds like perspective and I love the way it's kind of, his projects are a great mixture of like real and surreal. <laughs> um, it's gorgeous. And look at the look at the birds We're in the negative space up there so lovely um oops this is a cool one the misunderstoods and it's bugs and bugs aren't usually my jam but these guys are great look at the way so a lot of these are made gorgeous through fractionals so look at the the way that that spider looks so great just using fractionals so so good almost looks real um oh and what's cool is he's i've just realized he's included an id key and he's told you what each of these look what each of the bugs are black ant house fry house fly praying mantis that's cool so i love the way that he's including loads of information about nature as well gorgeous and these patterns are just crystal clear so big full color really clear and then you've got trees company gorgeous look at that owl in the tree so nice again great use of perspective i'm no art person so i'm just throwing these words out there but i think that's what it's called so good little facts as well did you know forests are the most biodiverse habitats on our planet three quarters of all terrestrial animals and plants find their homes in forests including 70 percent of all mammals 75 percent of all birds and 80 percent of all amphibians oh that's cool i didn't know that my son will love these facts is there you go mad for them is great i love it so well thought out so well written and beautiful patterns to boot uh this one is heron at dawn if you guys love stitching birds like i do there's quite a few in here for you look i love the way he's just like oh, i'm here beautiful and the sun i love the way that max does suns and sunsets looks gorgeous and the water looks great i like the um blooming swan project that some of you will have seen that i did the next project is oh so this is 
one of my favourites. I've got many favourites, but I think this one is going to be so popular. I'm sure it already is. Uh, this is Fox and Butterflies. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Look at him. He's a legend. And Fox and Butterflies, that's not something you'd usually put together, but it works gorgeous. It works perfectly. I just realised there's one of those facts boxes on every design. Brilliant. The next section is Thriving Woodlands. And every section as well has got a little intro picture and introduction. Now, I got this book. I've, I've been delivered and I got it last night when I got home from work. So I haven't even remotely read this stuff yet. But it all looks wonderful. First one, Autumn Drizzle. Totally different colour scheme. And I love it. The next one is the Mighty Oak. Again, these really aren't massive projects. I mean, this one's 69 by 70. So you could really achieve a lot in not a long space of time. Which is brilliant. Again, I love the different hoops and the different framing that he's done. This frame's gorgeous. And I think he includes, does he include the finishing? Mm, I think sometimes he has, yeah, not on this one, I don't think, unless I'm being blind. So apologies if so. Uh, this one I think is also gonna be a super popular one. It's Rowdy J. Again, he's so cute. His, his, like his whole face is just gorgeous. Uh, the fabric's included on every project as well. This is 14 count fiddler's cloth, which is really nice. And I think almost, if not all of the, I'm, I need to go through, I'm, I'm fairly certain all these projects are Ada or largely Ada. I think they might all be Ada, which is really good because I think, especially when we look through, um, like uh floss tube and like go to retreats and you see a lot of people stitching on very small count linens or even weave now i've i've been seduced by it i don't mind admitting when i went to stitch in london last year i'd only ever stitched on ada and i saw lots of people stitching on linen and now i'm stitching on linen well i, I stitch on a combination but it's so nice to see a beautiful book with grown-up projects because quite often ada projects can be a little bit more sort of cutesy more immature patterns and um, more simplistic but these are good com you know fairly complex in some cases but still beginner friendly projects that look really effective and they're done on ada and that's just wicked to me um and it also show it goes to show you can do fractionals on ada let me see did that yeah i mean this bug one is on ada 14 count egg crew or beige ada and that's got plenty of fractionals i've done fractionals on ada and it's it's fine works uh, this project is Passing Time. It's actually four projects. How pretty are they? Stunning, especially this one. It's my favourite. So I believe these are the seasons. So nice. Uh, woodpecker. Oh, hang on. I'm just going to show you a little corner of... Oh, no, I won't do it on this one. I'll come back to that. Uh, woodpecker at Work. So sweet. I told you there was lots of projects for bird lovers. So great. Um, oh, I'm not going to be able to pronounce this. And I'm going to look like an idiot. <laughs> Sequoia. Oh, this is, I know that this is a really famous place and I can't pronounce it. So I feel like an idiot. Pronounce it in your heads. <laughs> um, but this is another project that he's been sharing on his socials that everyone is going to love. And it's also oh, it's the cover project as well. Oh, just look at this. Obviously, this is a bigger one. Look at the falls in the background. Um, this one is 120 by 119. But it's almost full coverage. So that is a bigger project. But. It's gorgeous. 
I'm still trying to pronounce I'm not going to. I'm not going to humiliate myself. Because I know it's a famous place and I can't pronounce it properly. And I feel like a moron. Uh, the next project is the Great North. Which is probably, possibly my favourite section. With my favourite project in. Um, Blizzard Valley is the first one. Gorgeous. So again, you can tell it's the same style, but a totally unique, different take. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And this is probably my favourite project. It instinct, I might pick a different favourite, but this is probably my favourite or equal favourite with the fox in the whole book. And it's Snow Queen. Oh my God. Look how gorgeous. Love, 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 love. I really want to start this one. I've got so many projects, but I just, I want to. Uh, 100 by 50, I mean, yeah, it'll take me a little while, but it's gorgeous. Okay, I'll just show you one thing with this pattern. So I'm not going to show you the whole pattern, obviously. How am I going to do this? Hold on. Make sure I don't show it too much. But even though this project is obviously all pale colours, this little bit of the pattern he's done in various pinks and things just to make it more clear, which I think is great. More easy to read. This is a gorgeous one. If you're looking for like a fairly quick winter stitch, Fraser fur. It's got autumn Christmas vibes going on. Lovely. This is another big favourite, I think. People are gonna love this. It's Winter Walk, and it's the one you've probably seen online with the bear. So nice. Like, this book feels very Canadian. I don't know much about Canada, but I know they've got bears. <laughs> um, and I love it. I love that he's captured that. Uh, Flight of the Flock. <clears throat> Again, great use of the negative space, great use of colour, gorgeous. And I think this is the last section, which is Nighttime Wonders. And again, it's got one of my top three. Uh, so this one's called Upon a Star. Oh, I've just noticed, look at that little shooting star. So simple, but so effective. Those long stitches or back stitches really do give it movement. I love it. And the um, wolf howling at the moon. Gorgeous. He's got such amazing use of colour to create like depth and shadow and stuff. It's really cool. This is a gorgeous one. Aurora. Pretty. The reflection is stunningly done. And this is my third favourite from the book. And I love the name as well. Uh, Mothly Crew. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And again, I'm going to use this one to show you a smidge of the pattern. Just because I love how clear it is. So like so often with paper patterns and with books, the patterns are so, like the chart can be, quite often it's in black and white, which um, some people like that, I, it really bothers me. Um, or quite often is too small. Um, my eyes are not the best and I kind of like to prop my, my book or my pattern up a little bit away so I need to be able to see it. Um, but these are all crystal clear and he's taken as much space as he needs. He's not tried to cram them all into one page. He's taken as much space as he needs. These moths are over, the chart is over four pages, which is perfect. And I'm just going to show you a little smidge of the pattern to show you how clear it is. Crystal clear, easy to read and large enough. Love it. Um, Lakeside Twilight, again, gorgeous. Again, amazing use of negative space. All of these 
trees are made from the negative space. So only this part is actually stitching. Gorgeous. We're getting towards the end, guys. Oh, that is the end. That is the last pack. That is the last pan. Love it. Love it. Such a good book. If anyone's waiting for it, I hope it gets to you soon. I know they were even having some problems with distribution in Canada as well. Um, so it wasn't just us. Um, so if you're waiting for it, I really hope you get your copy soon. Let me know if you've got the book or you've ordered the book in the comments and let me know what you're planning on stitching. Let me know what your favourite is of all the ones I've just shown you. Um, yeah, it's great. It's a great book. Congratulations to Max. Um, it must have been a long time and a lot of hard work, but it's totally worth it. It's gorgeous. It's going pride of place in my cross stitch book collection. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to start some of the projects. I think either the Mothly Crew <clears throat> or the Fox and the Butterflies or the one, um, what's the third one that I loved? Oh, or the Owl. And the Owl is just stunning. Um, yeah, it's a gorgeous book. Um, and I really hope you get your hands on one soon if you haven't already. That's it from me. Just a quick video, even though my quick video is still 36 minutes, apparently. Um, now I've got to start my day. I've got to start working. Um, I will be back. I'm planning one more floss tube extra between now and my regular floss tube at the beginning of next month. And that is to talk plans. I've been through all of my ridiculously, embarrassingly large chart collection that I now have. And I've got big plans for um, what I'm planning to do for September, October, November and December. I've kind of started looking into my projects for New Year as well. Might now have to factor in a couple of these guys. Um, but yeah, I've got, I'm planning a video to talk through all new starts and plans for the remainder of 2024. So stay tuned for that. That will maybe be next week or the week after. Um, and then I'll be back in September for a regular floss tube. Thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Every time I get a new subscriber, I get like so excited. And I'm getting fairly close to 2,000 subscribers now. Um, and when I get to that, I'm going to have to do another giveaway. Um, so yeah, if you can share with anyone and help me to reach that goal, then we can have a giveaway next video. Um, thank you so much. I hope you've liked everything I've shown you. I'll put links for everything in the description. Um, and I'll see you guys really soon. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.